Lesson 11.2, Attributes of Three-Dimensional Shapes. Attribute, that's a pretty big word. An attribute is something special that helps us identify objects or people. And the attributes of a three-dimensional shape can be their number of faces, edges, and vertices, or if they have flat or curved surfaces. A surface is a face or a side. An edge is where two faces meet. A vertex is a corner. And if we have more than one vertex, they're called vertices. And we'll talk about this more throughout the video. This is a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. A cube has six square faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. You notice the numbers are the same? 6, 12, 8, 6, 12, 8. Because a cube is a special type of rectangular prism, it has the same amount of faces, edges, and vertices as a rectangular prism. If we unfold a rectangular prism, we would be able to see all of its faces. Here it's got squares on each side here on the left and the right. We can't see that one, but we know it's there. And if we unfolded it, we could see there's a square here and here, and we've got four rectangles. So we could have four rectangles with two squares. We could also have six rectangles. If the sides are rectangles, then unfolded, we would see rectangles on the side. We can use dot paper to draw a cube. The first thing we do is we draw a square to make four edges. We want each line on the side to be the same length. So we use the same number of dots all the way around to make four edges. The second thing we do is draw three lines going on an angle. See how it starts at this corner? It goes through that dot and then to that dot. And I did the same thing here on this corner. I went through this dot to that second dot, and I did the same thing here. I went up on an angle, on a slant, through this dot, and then that one. We make three more edges. The third thing we do is connect the slanted lines with two more edges. We draw a line across here and a line coming down. And the last thing we do is draw three dashed lines for three more edges. So we draw a dashed line, just like we drew the green ones, we go through one dot to the next one on, a, on the same slant as we did for this one. See how it's the same slant? And we draw a dotted line coming across, just like we drew this blue one up here, and we draw one in the back connecting this back corner down. Now, if you look, we have four edges, three edges, two edges, three edges. And if we add four plus three plus two plus three, that's equal to 12. A cube has 12 edges. We could even do this with a rectangle. If we draw a rectangle and then draw little, three little edges coming out of the rectangle, then connect two more edges, and then draw dashed lines, we could make a rectangular prism. A cone has a curved surface and a flat surface. One end is flat and the other has a point. It has one edge going around the circle and it has one vertex at the point. A cylinder has circles on the top and the bottom. It has a curved surface between the top and the bottom. A sphere is round and it can roll. Its surface is curved. It's like a ball. We cannot see all of the edges and vertices at the same time. And dashed lines are used sh to show the edges and vertices that are hidden. We count the dashed lines as edges, and we count where the dashed lines meet 
as a vertex. So we have a dashed line coming back here to show the back part of the cube that's hidden. We have another one here and we have another one coming up and we have vertices here where they meet. Tala traced around one face of a three-dimensional shape and made a circle. Which of these shapes could she have used? So we need to circle any of them that would have had a circle if she had traced around one face. Is there a circle on the face of a cube? No, so it's not cube. Is there a circle on the face of a cylinder? If you said yes, you're right, there is a circle on the face of a cylinder. Is there a circle on the face of a rectangular prism? No, there's not. Is there a circle on the face of a cone? Yes, there is. Is there a circle on the face of a sphere? No, it's one big curved surface. We couldn't trace a circle. So a cube would have squares and a rectangular prism would have six rectangles or it could have four rectangles with two squares, couldn't it? A rectangular prism doesn't have circles for a face. So for her to trace a circle, her three-dimensional shape had to have been a cylinder or a cone. So here's what we've learned. A surface is a face or a side. Each surface is a face or a side. An edge is where any two faces meet. So where this top face meets the side face, this is an edge. Each pink line is an edge. A vertex is a corner. So each corner is a vertex. So this rectangular prism has eight vertices. And we can combine two or more three-dimensional shapes to form new shapes. If you've ever played and stacked blocks, you know that you can make towers or castles or different shapes by stacking them and putting them together. Can you see the shapes that are here? I see a cylinder and a cone. I see a rectangular prism. I see another cylinder and another cone. And it looks a little bit like a castle, doesn't it? Our next lesson, 11.3, we're going to build 3D shapes. We're going to look at rectangular prisms. Now, if you're using an older copy of GoMath, like a 2012 copyright, it's going to say that 11.3 is two-dimensional shapes. In this newer textbook, that's 11.4. So I'll have that in the beginning of the next video. So be careful as you're counting your edges and your faces and your vertices. And I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.